What's good, YouTube? Car if I can't hear Aqua Life, baby, you already know. All right, so I was requ it was requested that I bring you guys a post sneak peek update to my Maelstrom Stride deck, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, the deck is flowing a lot better than you've seen it previously in a few matches on my channel. Uh, with the new support, it's just synergizing a lot better, and I'm extremely excited, and I can only see a bright future for this deck. Much like Savaz, this deck can only get better post-set, too. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to lay out my plans for um, the different lineups and cards for the deck in this video. So definitely stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. So starting off with the stride units, we're going to be running four. We're running four copies of Tidal Boar right now. When uh, the Fighters Collection comes out, these will most likely be changing to Admiral Maelstrom. Um, it, it, you know, it's Admiral Maelstrom. You know, he's just really good. But Tidal Boar right now is just doing. It's doing just fine. Um, and then, pretty much, it should be four Lambros, but. Uh, right now, I haven't done anything in terms of getting my Vanguard stuff since, like, last Monday. So, uh, right now, these are just placeholders for Lambros. And, uh, if you guys don't know what Lambros does, what you should is, on the fourth battle of the turn or more, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, or just attacks in general, you unflip, a, you G, you G flip him in the G zone, and if you have two or more unflipped, Stand two units and they get plus 10k. Uh, he's like he is the best card out of the set and probably the best finisher Aqua Force has uh, ever gotten. Like like this guy is just too good. All right, um, let's get into grade one or zero. All right, guys. So for the grade zero lineup, we need Lambie Bambi to watch over us. Uh, we got we got um, La Mario's. So what Mario's does is pretty much on the third battle of the turn or more uh, when he boosts an Aqua Force Vanguard. Uh, and he hit one, you get to search the top five for a Maelstrom unit. Now, that's really good, especially early, mid, early, mid, late game pressure. Um, your opponent does not want you to add potential stride fodder to your hand, uh, or glory Maelstrom for that crit turn. So definitely a good start. I tried out the other starters, but, um, he seems to synergize with the deck a lot better. Four heal triggers, because we need heals. Four of the new crit trigger. Now, I'm not a big fan of crit triggers and Maelstrom, and you guys know this. But she's a little bit special. So what she does is when she boosts a Maelstrom Vanguard on the fourth battle of the turn or more, your opponent cannot guard with grade zeros from their hand. So she is the other piece to the infamous unblockable glory Maelstrom, which you guys know I'm not a big fan of building of building an entire deck around that strategy. Because I think Glory Maelstrom is still a bit lackluster, but um, she helps present us with an alternate winning win condition if the uh, conditions are right. Um, five stand triggers for the new stand trigger. This stand trigger is just absolutely amazing. So what it does is on GB1 when it's when it swings, you can shuffle it back into the deck and swap. Um, a unit into the position that this card previously was so it helps enable the fourth battle and it's a recurring stand trigger and then three draw triggers some people say don't run draw triggers in aqua force and i highly disagree just for the fact that you need to be able to draw into your units you need to uh, actually have something to hit as a defensive trigger other than a heal trigger and she also goes into the soul so that you can make different uh kinds of plays you know title title um assault plays your high tide snipers you know when you use his skill can hit for what 22 so it, it's just um she's just a really good card in general all right and on to grade one all right so for grade ones we have four perfect guards because we need them in this set um for hermes uh he's the, he's the male he's the blue storm 10k attacker really good early mid and late game um great with stand triggers early game especially uh, I, I might not take him out. I may reduce him for some things, but right now he's doing fine at that number. But when I get more stuff from this set, uh, things will probably change much like this card, especially when the Maelstrom Stride comes out, he might get changed. Now this is the Limit Break Enabler, really good early game pressure if you're on regular Maelstrom, uh, because, you know, he just allows you to get your limb break off and get that nice plus early, the nice plus early in the game. So a pretty good card, but I'm thinking about cutting down on him a bit because this is a stride focused deck and I will be putting in the stride enablers uh, because it's just probably going to flow a, a lot better. 
And then right now, one copy of Satasha. She's just an amazing card. Like I said in the Savage, she's just an amazing card. Helps, you know, makes a new style of poke columns. If Mario's gets blown up, throw behind the Vanguard. So now you have the option of either boosting or um poking at a rear guard or if you put malika on her she swings for 12k at anything so she's just a really good card I'm, i've been trying her out and um she's actually worked out pretty well when i actually got to see her and i you know literally i would have more i probably would have more in this deck but i was only able to get five so yeah all right and on to grade three or two excuse me all right so for grade twos they should be a little bit self-explanatory um Four copies of Magnum Assault. I feel like I have a really good handle on my counter blasting in this deck. And uh, this guy is just so good. Re boost, counter blast one, restand plus 2k. Why not? And, you know, Hell's Reach fourth battle. That, this card, that card is just good. Um, four title Assault. Obviously, you know, $12 card now. And. Uh, helps reach fourth battle early great early mid and late game uh, just a fantastic card all, overall with no restrictions restrictions meaning like legion limit break you know things like that and we have four copies of the new age basil basil grew up and uh evolved into mr rascal sweeper he was like forget my shine forget my shiny rarity we go we gonna put in that hard work uh, so pretty much what Rascal Sweeper does is if you have a male from Grade 3 Vanguard, he becomes an 11k attacker. So he's kind of like the, the Blue Flame Aquavail. And if he swings on the first battle of that turn, uh, he'll swing for 11k on the Vanguard, then switch with the unit behind him. So he, it's pretty much Basil grew up, lost his rarity, but put in that hard work and now he's like really good and this guy just makes the deck so much better it brings back the old style and yes in my grade two lineup that is 12 cards in my grade two lineup that helped me reach the fourth battle um so again it's really consistent and let's get into grade three all right grade three guys we're still running our play set of og maelstrom because being on him early in the game is so good. Um, you know, when you had the limb break and able pressuring with that 21k column, uh, because your opponent doesn't want you to plus is really good. Also, I my deck focuses on getting off the cross ride. And, you know, that cross-ridden defense turns your draw triggers, your 5K shields into 10K shields on a 17K or lower column. Uh, turns your 10K shields into 15, essentially. So, um, you know, not only for defensive purposes and cross-riding, but early game, OG Maelstrom is good. And, you know, he's my boy. He's been with me for the longest time. Uh, two copies of Maelstrom Reverse. Maelstrom Reverse is really good late in the game. Late in the game is where Maelstrom Reverse uh, shines. And I do like to cross ride a little bit early sometimes for that for defensive purposes, especially if um, I'm losing on the advantage end. But, you know, he's really good. Now, he does have to lock a standing rear guard, you know, rest and lock a standing rear guard. So you do lose out on maybe a boost or an extra attack. But... Um, he's just really good early game because if your opponent blocks him, then you plus. If your opponent doesn't block him, they're taking extra crit. And so, you know, he I like that option. Plus, both of these guys work really well with stand triggers. And then I run two Glory Maelstrom. I don't think Glory Maelstrom is that that good. I think he's a bit overhyped because that condition with the crit trigger is way too conditional and there are a lot of things that need to happen for that to be a consistent skill which it probably will not be even if you run the self damager but this guy does present an alternative win condition and if you are cross ridden the only thing that you can do to block that column is if you have like a 10k intercept and that would you know give you a one to pass or two to pass if you're like if you have two of them on the field, which I will you'll probably make sure your opponent doesn't have. But you know, being on a cross ridden is just just really really good, especially for that crit trigger play. Um, so yeah, that's been my deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will be bringing you some match videos, you know, probably sometime this weekend. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'm able to get my Lambroses by the next time, y'all. Oops, excuse me, y'all see me. All right, it's been the Carfire King, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah, if you got PS4, hit me up. You already know. DBZ, MK, J Stars. What's up?